Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi barakatuhu. May peace, blessings and mercy of only God Allah on all my Indian brothers and sisters and brothers and sisters of the world. People are asking me, should we meet the establishment of our nation, the ruling class, the ruling parties, the rulers or not? Should we meet them or not? My answer is yes, we should meet them. Either the state leadership, central leadership, either the rulers of your state or of your country, we should meet them. Either they belong to BJP, RSS, Congress, TRS, BRS, DMK, TMC, whatever they are, we should meet them. Rasulullah used to meet the rulers of Mecca, Medina and send the letters to the rulers of Rome and Persia, Iran. Either they are Mishrikeen, Kafirin, Polytheist, Disbelievers, whatever they are, Rasulullah used to meet them and send the letters to them to convey the message of Islam. We should also meet the rulers of every party to convey the message of Islam. To convey the message of Islam. That there is no God but Allah, He alone should be worshipped. And obey final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And to not worship the creations. Don't do innovations in Islam or uh, uh, don't do bida. And don't promote haram things like alcohol, gambling, tobacco, interest-based economy, prostitution, homosexuality, death and destruction, rats, killings, lynchings of innocents. Don't promote that. Don't promote that. And bring the Islamic way of life for the peace, prosperity, success and security of one and all. To convey this message, we should meet the rulers and to make sure that our country, our state, our world will be more peaceful, more secure, more prosperous. And all the problems should get wiped out. For this, we should meet the rulers. But there are certain slaves of RSS, like Tariq Fatah, who was dead recently, and Junior Tariq Fatah, and Masim Razvi Tiagi. These Haramis generally meet the rulers to take out the mistakes of the Muslims and to make sure that the Muslims get punished by the rulers. For this, they meet them. This is Munafiqat, hypocrisy. Don't do that. Munafiqat, this is hypocrisy. Don't do that. Meet the rulers, correct them, invite them from darkness to light and spread, mashallah, unity in the country and the world and solve the problems in the light of Quran and the authentic hadith. In the meantime, correct the Muslims also. But just going to the rulers to do mokhbari, pass the information of the Muslims and saying, this group is doing that, punish them. This group is doing that. Punish them. For this, if you are going to the rulers, this is not the Islamic way. This is not the way of Allah and Rasulullah and Sahaba. This is hypocrisy. Munafiqat. Doing mukbari. Passing the information of the Muslims. Rather, you should correct the Muslims if they are going wrong and invite the rulers for good. Whatever the problems the country is facing now. See? Under BJP rule, what is happening? Unemployment, all-time high. Uh, inflation, uh, prices, high prices, all time high. Crime, all time high. Girls getting raped and murdered, all time high. Crime against women, all time high. Meet them to solve these issues. Millions of Hindu children are dying due to malnourishment. Corruption, all time high. Riots and death and destructions and lynchings taking place regularly. Army men and farmers getting killed on regular basis. Me to solve these problems and wipe out these problems. We should meet the rulers to solve these problems, not to create more problems for Ummah, for the nation and the world. And moreover, we should not meet the rulers to become their slaves like Tariq Fatah who was dead and the junior Tariq Fatah and uh, Vaseem Razvi Tiyagi doing nowadays. Don't do that. Don't meet the rulers for to become their slaves, become the slave of Allah. And meet the rulers and everyone of all parties to invite them for what is right from the Quran and the Hadith and stop them from what is wrong. Then only our India will be Vishwaguru world leader, inshallah. And Allah will be pleased and we can help in spreading Islam and implementing it also. Alhamdulillah, the greatest job on the planet. Do this, have peace, prosperity, success, security. Become slave of Allah and not the slave of the rulers. Assalamu alaikum.